Hey there and welcome to another tutorial! In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to solve simultaneous equations. But before we look at some examples, let's recap a few concepts you need to know for this topic. Suppose we have an equation x plus y is equal to 6, and we wanted to double this equation. To do this, we'd have to multiply each term in the equation by 2, not just the first term. So it becomes 2 multiplied by x to give us 2x, 2 multiplied by y to give us 2y, and 2 multiplied by 6 which is equal to 12. So our new equation becomes 2x plus 2y is equal to 12. This is one of the concepts involved in simultaneous equations. That is, the equation can be multiplied by any constant, so for example 2, 4, 5, etc except 0. Now consider these two equations x plus y is equal to 6 and negative 3x plus y is equal to 7. These are called simultaneous equations. Simultaneous equations are two equations with two unknowns. In this case the unknowns are x and y. They are called simultaneous because they must both be solved at the same time. In this video I'm going to show you how to solve simultaneous equations using the elimination method. When using the elimination method the first step is to try to eliminate one of the two unknowns. To do this, we are allowed to either add both equations or subtract them to make one of the variable terms zero. For example, if we were to subtract these two equations, we'd subtract the left-hand sides together and the right-hand sides together. So we get the left-hand side of the first equation, which is x plus y, minus, since we are subtracting, minus 3x plus y, which is the left-hand side of the second equation. And this will be equal to 6 minus 7. Then, we expand our brackets. When expanding brackets, remember that the term outside the bracket is multiplying by everything inside the bracket. In this case, the term outside the this bracket is 1 and the term outside the second bracket is not just 1 but negative 1 since the sign in front of a number goes with that number. So the term outside the bracket is multiplying by everything inside the bracket like this. Expanding the first brackets we get 1 by x which is equal to x and 1 by y which is equal to y. Now before we look at the second bracket from basic algebra remember when the signs are different the answer is negative. When the signs are the same the answer is positive. So let's expand the second negative 1 by negative 3x. Since the signs are the same, the answer will be positive 3x. And negative 1 multiplied by positive 1y will give us negative y since the signs are different. The y's will then cancel to give us 0, leaving us with 4x is equal to negative 1, which can then be solved easily by dividing both sides by 4 to give us x is equal to negative 1 over 4. Now the y term was eliminated since we subtracted both equations earlier. If we added the equations instead, none of the x or y terms would have been eliminated. Now that we've covered the basics, let's go through some examples on how to solve simultaneous equations. Example 1. Solve these simultaneous equations and find the values of x and y. So we have 11x plus 6y is equal to 79 and 11x plus 3y is equal to 67. So the very first thing we do is label our equations. So let's call the first one equation 1 and this one equation 2. The next step is to eliminate a variable from the equation, either the x term or the y term. Now notice the number in front of x, that is the coefficient of x. It is the same in both equations. Now now think about it. Since we are allowed to subtract the equations, 11x minus 11x will give us 0 and therefore get rid of the x term. So subtracting equation 2 from equation 1 gives us 11x plus 6y minus 11x plus 3y which is equal to 79 minus 67. To simplify, let's expand the brackets. 11x plus 6y and the negative by a positive gives us negative 11x minus 3y which is equal to 12. The next step, which is totally optional, is to group like terms. So x terms together and y terms together. So we get 11x minus 11x plus 6y minus 3y is equal to 12. The x term is eliminated to give us 0, leaving us with 3y is equal to 12. Therefore y is equal to 12 divided by 3, y is equal to 4. But we are not finished just yet since we still have to solve for x. To solve for x, we substitute our answer y is equal to 4 into either one of the equations we were given. Let's go with equation 1. We replace y with our answer which is 4 and then we solve for x. So we get 6 by 4 is 24 and this gives us 11x plus 24 is equal to 79. To make 11x a subject of the formula, we subtract 24 from both sides of the equation. So we get 11x is equal to 55 and to make x a subject of the formula, we divide both sides by 11. So 11x divided by 11 and 55 divided by 11. This gives us x is equal to 5. So the solution is x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 4 or we can write our answer 
answer as a pair of coordinates in the form x, y. Let's look at a second example. Solve the following pair of simultaneous linear equations. So we have equation 1, which is 2x plus 3y is equal to 8, and equation 2, which is 3x plus 2y is equal to 7. Now, as you can see in this example, none of the coefficients are the same. To change this, we need to multiply each equation by a suitable number. On a side note, remember, multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6, 8, etc., and multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, etc. The lowest common multiple of both 2 and 3 is 6. Therefore, if we multiply the first equation by 3 and the second equation by 2, the coefficients of x will be the same. Remember, in order to do this, we have to multiply each term in the equation by that number. So we write in both equations, we get 6x plus 9y is equal to 24 and 6x plus 4y is equal to 14. At this point, we can see that if we subtracted both equations, the x terms will be eliminated. 6x plus 9y minus 6x plus 4y, which is equal to 24 minus 14. Expanding the brackets, we get 6x plus 9y minus 6x minus 4y is equal to 10. The x terms will then cancel, giving us 9y minus 4y, which is 5y is equal to 10. So y is equal to 10 divided by 5, y is equal to 2. We then substitute y is equal to 2 into either equation 1 or equation 2. I like to use equation 1. So we get 2x plus 3 into 2 is equal to 8. 2x plus 6 is equal to 8. And subtracting 6 from both sides, we get 2x is equal to 2. And to make x the subject of the formula, we divide both sides by 2. So x is equal to 1. So our solution is x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2. Or in the form x, y, x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2. Let's take a look at a third example. So we have to solve the simultaneous equations 5x minus 3y is equal to 26 and 4x plus 2y is equal to 34. We apply the same concept once more. Looking at the x terms, the lowest common multiple of 5 and 4 is 20. Looking at the y terms, the lowest common multiple of 3 and 2 is 6. Personally, I like to work with a smaller number. So let's go with eliminating the y terms. Multiplying equation 1 by 2 and equation 2 by 3, we get 10x minus 6y is equal to 52. Let's call this equation equation 3 and 12x plus 6y is equal to 102. Let's call this equation 4. Let's examine the y terms we are about to eliminate. So we have negative 6y and positive 6y. If we subtract them, we get negative 12y instead of 0. This is because they have alternating signs. If we add them, however, we get 0. When you reach this part of the problem, look at the two terms you are about to eliminate. If they have alternating signs, add. For same signs, subtract. So in this question, since we have alternating signs, we have to add. So adding both equations, we get 10x minus 6y plus 12x plus 6y is equal to 52 plus 102. Expanding and simplifying, we get 10x minus 6y plus 12x plus 6y is equal to 154. The y term is then eliminated, leaving us with 22x is equal to 154, so that x is equal to 154 divided by 22, x is therefore equal to 7. Now substituting this value for x into equation 1, we get 5 multiplied by 7 minus 3y is equal to 26. This gives us 35 minus 3y is equal to 26. We then subtract 35 from both sides of the equation, so we get negative 3y is equal to 26 minus 35. We get negative 3y is equal to negative 9, and then we divide both sides by negative 3 to solve for y. So we get y is equal to 3. Hence, the full solution is x is equal to 7 and y is equal to 3. Now let's take a look at one final example. So consider these equations. 2x minus 5y is equal to 1 and 3x plus 5y is equal to 14. As we can see here, the coefficients of y are already the same, so we do not need to find any multiples. The first equation contains a negative 5y term, while the second equation contains a positive 5y term. These two terms will cancel if they were added together, so we will add the equations to eliminate y. Remember, if you're not sure whether to add or subtract the equations, check their signs and for alternating signs, add. To add the equations, we add the left side expressions and the right side expressions separately. So we get 2x minus 5y plus 3x plus 5y is equal to 1 plus 14. Expanding the brackets, we get 2x minus 5y plus 3x plus 5y is equal to 15. Simplifying, we get negative 5y and 5y to cancel out. So we have 2x plus 3x is equal to 15. This gives us 5x is equal to 15. Therefore, 
Therefore, x will be equal to 15 divided by 5, so x is equal to 3. By substituting 3 for x into either of the two original equations, we can then find for y. So 2 multiplied by 3 minus 5y is equal to 1. 6 minus 5y is equal to 1. And subtracting 6 on both sides, we get negative 5y is equal to 1 minus 6. Therefore, minus 5y is equal to minus 5. And dividing by negative 5 on both sides, we get y is equal to 1. So our solution is x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 1. When you've completed your question, a good idea is to check if your answers are correct. We can do this by substituting our values that we found for x and y into either of the equations that were given. So substituting into equation 1, we get 2 into 3 minus 5 into 1, which is equal to 6 minus 5, and this is equal to 1. And this is exactly the same as the answer given in the equation above. We can even check it with the second equation as well. So we get 3 multiplied by 3 plus 5 multiplied by 1, which is equal to 9 plus 5, which is equal to 14. Therefore, our answers are correct. So that's it for this video. I do hope it helps you conquer the world of elimination. If this video was helpful for you, hit that like button, okay? And as always, thank you so much for checking out my video. And don't forget to subscribe to see more of my tutorials that will be coming up soon. So take care, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.